Hi ladies, hi gents. I want to share a project with you today and this project I actually did about two months ago and I haven't had time to film it and it kind of was a work in progress. I kept adding bits to it and um, it took me a little while to finish it. It wasn't one that I sat down and just completed in a night. Um, it's actually a mixed media uh, project um, and the idea for it was like a coral coral reef under the sea. Well that was my thinking and well we'll see what you think <laughs> if it came out. I, it just, I loved, loved, really loved doing this piece. Um, I found it let my imagination run a bit. <laughs> um, as you can see there's a little seahorse here and this was just off a necklace and um, he's my little focal point. He's tiny but the focal point which is strange. So I'm just going to actually zoom out and show you the whole thing first. Got it all in? Okay. So this is my coral reef. Um, canvas and I think I'm thrilled how it turned out <laughs> but you know we'll see um, so I started with an oval canvas and what I did first was I laid down um, bits of lace dangle lace and I cut little bits out to be like you know the reef growing and all the different um, coral, I don't know how to describe it, it's quite a hard thing to describe. I just wanted it to look like all the coral under the sea in, with obviously lots of different movement going on because there's lots of movement under the sea and these ones here are actually stuck down to like as if they're going up in the water. <laughs> I don't know if I'm explaining this very well. Um, so there is some loose lace and there is others that are sort of attached down to give all this texture and all the lace is gessoed and sprayed in um, a very pale sort of coral colour and um, slight um, taupe colour as well just to give it um, the colour that I've I've got here. Okay, so my then my focal point was the seahorse, which which I talked about a minute ago. That's that's what I started with, and that's where it grew. And I decided to put it in a frame and make it look like it, you know, could be the window of a ship or something. I don't know. Um, but so I placed it in the frame and I put more lace in inside the frame and a seashell with a pearl and lots of bits of lace growing over the frame and also these little these are little uh, bead sprays off a bunch of flowers that I cut off a bunch of flowers and I've got those intertwined in a few places again to give it just different different textures um, I used uh, two types of flowers on here, the the lilies from Wild Orchid Crafts because of the dimension of them and uh, the, the shape of them they were just perfect for this and I think I have a few chrysanthemums as well um, but mostly lilies so I've got lots of lilies around here there's a, a metal uh, flower here so if I just show you the side I've also got lots of um, pearls uh, in um, metal pieces, uh, seashells with pearls in. Uh, what else? See, we've got another seashell. It's quite hard to show. Another seashell with a pearl there. Um, a little um, bead finding with a pearl in the centre. I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit. I'm not sure how detailed this is going to show up. So here's a bead cap and then a pearl. I used quite a few bead caps on this with pearls in um, because 
just to get the dimension I've got some leaf lace there and then on top of the the frame you'll see a little a little sailing boat and um, that was just off a necklace that I had um, actually in here you can see more uh, bead caps and pearls bead cap and pearl some more of the lilies another um, bead cap with a pearl lots and lots of shells with pearls in this is another lily flower I can see the dimension great dimension that gives there um, there's more another um, shell behind so I layered a lot of the shells up uh, there's down here I don't know if you can see there's a little uh, starfish just peeping out from underneath the flower and the shells there. Um, this is a, a piece off a necklace. It's a metal flower. More shells. It's a chrysanthemum. Some more shells and, and pearls there. I'm just looking what else there is. I've even put um, some of the flowers inside bead caps, so you've got the metal pieces shown behind them. Um, lots of lily flowers because those gave great, great, great dimension. There's another um, little uh, starfish. So there's two starfish on here, and again more, more of the lace, and then this. I thought looked a bit like old uh, fishing net, so I put this across the side. There's another metal filigree piece here, another bead cap with pearls, bead cap with pearls, some more of the little, um, what do you call it, off the flower spray, the little beads off the flower spray. Now I thought... I'm missing something. I um, thought I had an anchor on here, but I might not have. I might have changed my mind about the anchor. Unless it's so well hidden. Another metal piece in there. I can't find it. Lots of shells. Loads and loads of shells. So your your bead caps and your pearls are great for adding into the mixed media. Like here, this one. It's a nice um, ornate bead cap with a. This is actually a long pearl in there. I'm sure there was an anchor. I must be imagining. Maybe I just thought about putting an anchor in. I might have just thought. I had so much fun doing this. And I really, really want to do another one. I don't know why, but you know when you just really enjoy doing a piece. I'd be worried it would turn out very similar though. Um, but I loved working with the like the starfish and the, the shells. I really enjoyed that. I'd done a mermaid tag once with someone. But um, this doing this piece it was just, I don't know, I really got into it. <laughs> um, but I, I don't have a lot of nautical theme stuff so I might. Ha I know Prima have some like starfish and stuff, so I, I might do another one. I'd like, I'd like to, but I'm not sure if I could make it that much different to what this one is. So perhaps maybe I should just leave well alone and just do the one. <laughs> um, but I am so thrilled how it turned out. That's my my imagination of a coral coral reef. <laughs> but I really, really wanted to um, get it filmed and share it with you because um, I've been looking at it and looking at it and thinking I must film it. Um, but yeah, I am really happy. And of course, I used the teal colour flowers as well, so with the sprays as well as uh, the pop of the teal coloured flowers, I, I just love the way that showed up. I could have went a bit darker actually maybe on the on the blues but, but yeah. 
I do really like it and I will try and pop a few close-up photos at the end of the video because I you know there, there's an awful lot of um, detail going on in there I know and dimension I am thrilled with the, the dimension I got it on on it though lots of different heights of um, on, on there So I do hope, I know it won't be to everyone's taste, but I do hope you like it and this was my imagination running wild with me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Gosh. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll be back soon with another project and I'll say bye for now.